Today I'm doing the top eBay Motors finds uh, on eBay right now. Uh, I have a few different types of cars. They're all different. One of them is already running and driving. One's a potential drift car, one's a project car, and one's just a really cool race car. So let's get into it. The first car is going to be the project car. The pro this is a 1967 Ford Mustang. It uh, looks like it's a restoration that was started but never finished. and it's pretty far down the road for $3,500. It um, has the whole body with new paint. It's got wheels. It's got um, all the suspension parts. It's got most of the interior. It doesn't have the dash or the gauges, but that's not that much money compared to you get that whole car for $3,500. Um, and and it's reached, it's reached reserve, so you can get it Ford. The next bid could be 3600 and you could get the car. Uh, it's got disc brake upgrade and it's got, I think it's a 289 long block C4 transmission. It's got all of this stuff. So it looks like you just need the upper intake and the minor engine parts like the belts and stuff. And you got a car ready to go, you could probably do it for less than $6,000, so I think that's a pretty good deal. Alright, next car. Next car is potential drift car. This is a 2003 Nissan 350Z uh, for under $10,000 probably. Because the reserve's not met, but it's at $5,000, it's got to be close for 2003. Uh, and it's only gotten 57,000 miles on it. And for a car that's 14 years old, it's pretty good. Um, 350Zs are definitely going to be one of the, uh, going to be the next 240 for sure. Because 240s are getting so expensive and so rare to find one that hasn't been just completely destroyed. Um, these cars are going to be really cheap and they're going to be perfect for drifting. They have already have a pretty powerful engine, about 300 horsepower, at least the, uh, the newer 350Zs are. I believe the 2003 ones are too, but it's got a 3.5 liter V6, it's manual, it's got a long wheelbase, it's a really nice car. And mods are really cheap on it too. Alright, uh, next one. Next we have 1991 Acura NSX for less than $37,000. Uh, it's a pretty cool car. What caught, me, what caught my eye was these gold wheels. These are sweet on the black. NSX's, this is like the only Honda I would ever own. I guess besides the S2000, but I don't know. The NSX is just so cool. It's got such a unique style that's Honestly, pretty timeless. It looks like it would be a new car today. Uh, interior obviously looks really 90s, but the exterior is what really makes the whole car. Pretty awesome car, I'd say. Just look at those wheels. Damn. Those are cool. 3.0 liter V6, 107,000, that's not too much. Um, no accidents, clean Carfax. Aftermarket headers, rotors, exhaust, HRE three-piece forge wheels, lowering springs, LED daylight running lights, black on black. Well, no one cares about the auto, but pretty nice car. Okay, coolest car I think I could find uh, is a race car. It's a Lotus with a turbine engine. It's got like a jet engine on a race car and for $2,500. Like, come on, I don't know if it's a replica, I don't know, but it's got a turbine engine and a Lotus race car. That's gotta be pretty fast. Look at that thing. Why is it only 2500 I don't know. And it says it comes with some sort of replica. Comes with 
Lotus race car with turbine engine and sport wheel vintage GP F1 model. Hmm. I don't know. And this is, look at this, this description is hilarious. For sale, rare metal body, uh, high end investment grade museum quality, 2500, pretty good. And high detail, 118 scale precision metal die cast model. Whatever. This is a show car, has been in storage since new, has never even had an oil change. It's probably not good. Seller does not warrant, promise, or guarantee in any way that a buyer will ever be able to start this beauty up. Not even for a quick spin around the block. Having said that, just viewing these photographic images may cause heart palpitations, weakening of the knees, and or for one to be heartbroken if one does not acquire this automotive classic. I'd buy it just to try and start it. I mean, it's a, like a jet engine car. It's crazy. Hmm. Pretty cool. I wonder if it's the whole car. You know, if it's not the whole car, that would be kind of awkward. But it seems like it. This looks like a model, though. kind of sketchy, but if it's the whole car, it'd be pretty cool. So, that's all I have for this week. I'm going to try and do these eBay finds every week. Hopefully I can find some pretty decent uh, variety of cars. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.